a large farm in Rosenheim near Munich, Germany. What no one suspects, here fantastic classic cars are lined up. Okay, Thomas, we will simply check to see if everything is okay with the car. Yes. Where they still need something, I'll look at the front. Exactly. We'll check the fluid levels and look for it again. Super. Look how it's running. Let's see if it starts. You can do the test drive? Yep. Yes, and then we'll see. Thomas the mechanic drove the last few laps with the Fiat a few weeks ago. Michael didn't even have time for a little joint. Yes, the vehicles are actually started regularly by us, so I can check the battery and it is actually not very surprising that the car starts now, yes. Michael takes a test drive with his collector's piece. At the end of the day, it shouldn't rattle. Although Michael is surrounded daily by the finest and most expensive classics, this is his favorite car, a Dino Spider. The original came from the United States. Michael bought it a few years ago in Europe. So on a test drive, at the beginning, slowly warm up the engine so that the engine reaches operating temperature. Then watch how the driving experience is, how the vehicle starts and how it hangs on the gas and how it changes gears and simply get a good feeling for the car. The Dino Spider still has a big brother, the Dino Coupe, designed by Bertoni. It was presented in 1967, a year after the Spider. So the special appeal of the Fiat, of course, it drives really well. It has 160 horsepower. The body and the form in my eyes, really awesome, is by Pininfarina. Beautiful car, has such flair and a certain something from a classic car. Once up to operating temperature, the Fiat shows that it can still keep up. So now it's warm, we can really step on the gas. And there you realize for what the Dino was made for higher speeds, it's really fun. It's pure driving fun. The Ferrari V6 engine of the mid-60s could do it even better than the six-cylinder Porsche 911 or Mercedes SL. It had more power and better acceleration. Yeah, it works really well. I'm happy now that after the winter break when it's let out and drives so nicely. It stutters a bit at the lower speeds and don't know exactly why. It's probably in the carburetor or ignition timing because it doesn't take the gas very well, but otherwise it feels really good. The Spider has the same engine as the Dino Coupe. And with this machine, the Dino reeled off 50,000 kilometer endurance tests in the 60s as sovereignly as a VW Beetle. But because the Spider has so many years on the crankshaft, the V6 engine can have a little problem. Michael goes back to his workshop. Yeah, was great in the lower speed range and doesn't take the gas very well. Okay. Yeah, do we need to perhaps again look at the carburetors? Let's look again at the carburetor. Will you please open the front? The Ferrari engine is very reliable, but also needs intensive care. The valve setting can take up to 10 hours. With the Dino, for a normal four-cylinder, it's a maximum of two. Yeah, well, the Dino engine has naturally three double carburetors, which is really very tedious and a bit complicated that the vehicle is properly synchronized and adjusted. Should the three carbs now need to be synchronized, that would mean a night shift for Thomas. Now, let's see. Now, I think I found a problem already, Mike. Yeah, where is it? These are the carburetors, the choke operation, which is loose. Do you see it? And hence, probably the faulty idle and poor throttle response. Exactly. We will now tighten that and then we'll try again. With a few simple steps, Thomas tightens the choke operation again. Okay, that looks good. That should be it. Let's put it together again and then we can try it once more. That would be good indeed. Exactly. Super. Michael is relieved. It's naturally great. It was really, it, when it's relatively easy to fix. We're about to see now if we start the engine, but it looks very much like that, and that's perfect. There. Michael takes the second test drive. If the Fiat now takes the gas well, the loose choke operation was indeed the reason for the poor response of the engine. 
So after Thomas's repair and the setting of the carburetor, it now runs really well. It takes the gas cleanly, even at the lower speed ranges, it's not jerking anymore. It pulls through, the ride is much better than before.